All right, what's up guys? It's been a while, I'm still alive. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, I've just been really busy, so I haven't been out fishing lately. Um, I'm in the office today and uh, doing one of those lunch break uh, quick fishing episodes here. So I'm down at the spot that I come to quite a bit and we had some rain um, probably almost two weeks ago and the bayou's still up and it's just, I mean, it's perfect right now. Um, it's up a little bit high, um, but not so much that it's impossible to fish. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we had a cold front come through. It's like maybe 73 degrees out here, overcast. I mean, good time of year, perfect weather, perfect conditions. Uh, the only problem is I don't have any bait at all. Um, I didn't feel like going to the Asian grocery store because uh, that takes up time, you know, that I could be fishing. So I've got my cast net with me here and I need to get, you know, a mullet or a shad or, or something out of here uh, to use as bait. Otherwise I can't fish. Uh, and I'll be really disappointed because it looks really good right now. So I'm gonna throw this cast net and just really hope and pray that uh, I get some good bait in here. Well, I got some little shad on my second throw here, but these are too small uh, for what I'm going for. And um, God, this bayou just looks uh, the best that I've seen it, maybe in forever, uh, at this spot at least. So I really, really want to get uh, a mullet or two. I'm just, I'm itching to get uh, some good bait in the water. So while I'm, while I'm throwing the net for a mullet, I've just taken a couple of these little shad and skewered them on here. I'm gonna toss that out there, maybe for a little catfish or something. Just uh, little stuff so far. This is killing me right now. If I had known the conditions were gonna be this good, like I'm not exaggerating here. Let me show you. This is like the best conditions I have ever seen at this spot here. And I don't have any bait, you know, just those tiny little shad. So I'm seeing huge fish breaking the surface out there. I mean, everything is just perfect and uh, I feel like there's an amazing opportunity that's just slipping by. So I really need to see if I can land that net on a school of um, mullet or something. I'm gonna keep trying. Should have seen that coming. Damn turtle. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Nice one. Wow, what is that? Some kind of, I don't know, map turtle or something. Well, that was a huge mistake on my part, not coming prepared with some bait. As I've got pretty much the best conditions I've ever seen here at this spot and I've got nothing to fish with except just some, some little stuff. So I got a couple of like little shad on here right now, maybe try for like a small catfish or something, but 
it's a shame. I'm seeing huge monsters breaking the surface out there and I can't even try for them. Not a total bust. Got a nice channel cat here. So, all right, not a total waste of time. I figured this is what I'd be catching on that little bait. You know, I got half of mine to cut this guy up and use him for monster fish. It's tempting, but I'm gonna let him go. So at least I didn't get skunked. It's so nice out here. I would have been really bummed if I had just walked away with nothing. So, yeah. Come on, get out of there. Alrighty. Well, there we go. First fish I've caught in a while. Let's see if I can get a little channel catfish. Use that as bait. Just don't have a lot of time. Well, hell, I've thrown this cast net so many times now. I'm not even getting little fish anymore. And I've caused a huge commotion, you know, throwing that thing in the water and making all that noise. So looks like I might be SOL uh, on the big fish, but at least I didn't get skunked. Caught a nice channel catfish. That was fun. But yeah, missed opportunity for sure. So moral of the story is come prepared. Well, something's, something's tugging on this right now. Maybe a little channel cat. If it's small enough, I'm gonna cut him up. But it could be a turtle. So far I've got one turtle and one catfish. And my bait is stolen. It's just great. the damn line. Damn it. I had a good sized fish on. Shit. It just knocked my camera into the sand. Damn it. I had a good sized fish on. I dragged it over something on the bottom and the line cut. That's bullshit, man. I hate this spot. So this is all I can manage to get here. I don't know what these are. 
They actually look like little carp or something. But uh, they're on the small side, so all I can really do is go for, I guess, a little catfish with this. But I guess it's better than nothing. a huge alligator guard jump. I think if I catch another uh, channel catfish, I'm gonna try to cut that up and give it a shot for a gar. It's just too tempting. It's just, it's the perfect day out here. It's so nice. I'm sweating, but that's only because I've been running around. It's actually really nice and cool out. There's a breeze. Um, I'd love to stay out here all day. I wish I didn't have to get back to work. But I'll take it. It's still better than nothing. I managed to get one decent shad. This is still way too small, but for a catfish, I might be able to get a decent catfish on this. Um, so I need to rig up properly and put this guy on. So I just found this. Some other fishermen had the same idea. Too bad it's old, but I might string this up minus the the rotten bait. Oh damn, they crimp this right on here. Never mind. I guess I can't use this after all. Okay, so we're reduced to fishing for small stuff, but that's all right. At least we're fishing. So I got some uh, shad, something else, like maybe a chub or mosquito fish, I don't know what it is. Maybe even like a little carp or something on there. So we'll see, I got both rods baited up, uh, just like little one ounce sinkers on there. And we're just waiting for something to come along and grab it. I assume it's gonna be catfish. Although I'm seeing huge gar breaking the surface out there. I just don't have anything uh, to try for those as far as bait goes, so pity. All right, well, I'm hanging up the cast net here. Time to pack it up and get going. Just couldn't make it happen with a good mullet or a good sized piece of bait, so it's all right. At least I got to get out for a little bit. It was still fun. So I'm gonna leave the rods in the water till the very last second, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack this up and uh, assuming that I don't get anything else in the next minute or two, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it and hope to see you soon. Buzzer beater. Look at that. I think this might be a little blue. Oh man. That's a pretty fish. Right at the last second. I was just packing everything up. Man, this is a nice fish. I mean, as far as colors go, I'd rather get Big Mama, but this is still just beautiful. Really nice, healthy fish. So I'm gonna turn him loose or her loose. Get on out of here. See ya. Thank you. Stole the bait. I knew that was weird for that to be in the water that long. You know, those big monsters are few and far between, but there's tons of those little blue catfish and decent sized channel catfish. So 
yeah, I mean, when you're fishing for those, you just expect to get a lot more bites and stuff. So, you know, usually when I come down to this bayou, I'm going after huge catfish, big gar. It's just like, it's too tempting not to. It's so exciting. And, you know, they're in here. Uh, but catching those little fish is pretty much just as fun. I mean, it's just really nice to get out. It's been a while. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon.